Good morning, everyone. I'm Cameron Steven, the guy that bounced back from a brain injury. I would like to bring a little hope to people that are visually impaired and not to give up. And anything is possible. My journey started in 2013. I was an entrepreneur. I had a bad lifestyle. I was on the go all the time. I started to get sick that summer. And every month was getting worse. And then it was every day was getting worse. I thought I was going to die. And then in November, everything exploded. I ended up having a heart attack, three strokes, five seizures, a deflated lung, and a 3.8 centimeter tumor attached to my heart. I was in a coma, fighting for my life. No one thought I was going to come out of it. But I did. And I came out of it with several disabilities. My vision was super affected. And I didn't even know what else was wrong with me. But I knew my vision was really affected. Everything was foggy. I seen like double vision, overlap vision. I did not understand none of this stuff at the time. I couldn't see details. I couldn't get a joke. I couldn't hear things. I couldn't process. But I thought it was just my vision. It was so bad. I mean, I was the type of guy that I bungee jumped. I skydived. I went four-wheeling. I went on the sea do. I did everything you could possibly imagine. And now my vision's affected, I can't run my business, I can't do anything the same. Life seemed impossible. I was lost. How am I going to come out of this? I did not even understand. So then even when I tried to go down after the hospital, I tried to go down to the cottage and live my old life, bad lifestyle, and run my business. Well, everything exploded in my face. I tried to actually with my vision so bad, I tried to go four-wheeling. I rolled the four-wheeler. I don't know why the boys let me do that. But anyways, I went see doing and drove in the dock. So all the people around me, they just wanted me to do the same things they did. But it wasn't good for my healing. I was totally lost and I was not getting better. It was getting worse. So I started separating myself with a little spirituality, a little listen to the secret, some exercise, hidden in the bags. I started to do things to make myself better and I felt like I was getting a little bit better. But my vision was so, so bad. I mean, I couldn't see my toenails. It was bad, I couldn't go into a restaurant because I didn't know the difference between the male and the female bathroom. Plus, I seen half the letters and half the numbers, and everybody looked like an alien to me. They looked like all deforted, like um, double vision or overlap vision, eyes weren't twisted, the mouth was crooked. It was really bad, I mean, and I had no idea that this was a possibility that something like this could happen. So I really feel bad for the people who are blind because I really struggled with my vision affected. You know, I could see for so long, I had really good hand-eye coordination before. And so when everything's taken away from me, and I lose my identity, and then in 2017 and 2018, I fell into a real bad depression. I still wasn't diagnosed with all my visual problems or my hearing problems or my processing problems. But in 2017, I finally was. And I'm like, Prosopagnosia? What is that? I didn't even know it existed. But it's face blindness, facial recognition. And I had a, anomic aphasia. I couldn't express myself. So you'll see in some of my speeches, some things aren't perfect. And I apologize. But anyways, my vision was really, really bad. And especially when I went through this depression. It got even worse. So I'm thinking I'm just going to keep going backwards and backwards and backwards. Once I got through that 2017 and 2018, I started rebuilding myself again. And I started using exercise. Really helps with your mind and your body. I started meditating. Well, I was meditating while I was going through the depression. That was helping me. I started, um, I had some, like a job in my garage and that brought out my neuroplasticity which really, really helped me. So I started doing all these things, you know, getting away from other things. And I started to heal. And especially when I was doing a little job in my garage. And my neuroplasticity really got it activated. And things started getting better. Now, I mean, I take the CBD drops. I take THC for going to sleep. I meditate in the morning when I wake up. I drink my shakes, I exercise, I do yoga. I'm trying to do everything I can to make myself better, so I can't say it's one thing. But with all this stuff that I'm doing, after about probably 2019, I really started to make a difference. And my double vision went away, my overlap vision. And 
I started being able to take care of my house. I started being able to do things myself. And my vision was getting better. Finally. I never thought it was going to get better. So I went, I'm going to get my eyes tested. So I went in 2014 to the eye doctor. Real bad. 2016. The eye doctor told me then my right eye improved a little bit. But he said I would never drive again unless I got neuroplastic, or unless I got STEM research. That's what he told me. STEM research. So maybe when I was 60. So I'm like, wow, you know, it doesn't make you feel good when you're a boss, you're a leader, you drove around everywhere. I've been all over Canada driving. So when all that's taken away from you, everything feels hopeless. But I was actually making myself better. So when I went in 2019, after doing all this stuff, the eye doctor told me my right eye is good enough to drive. I was like, woo, wow. Can you believe how good that feels just to be told that? My vision was never affected. It's totally my brain. So I'm telling myself that I'm healing. I'm actually healing. So I know I have a processing and understanding, So, but everything is getting better. Everything. Because it was my brain that was affecting everything. So I go to the rehabilitation center and I take a course. It was $480. And there was a beautiful soul that worked at the rehabilitation center that was there and an instructor. And I did a bunch of tests, cognitive tests, reaction time tests. I did all these tests. And then I went driving with them. And they said I did great. Woo, what a good feeling. And then my family doctor gave me the green light I could drive. So then I was able to drive when everybody said I couldn't. Don't ever give up. So then I was driving for a couple of weeks now. I haven't driven, drove in five and a half years, so things were not like they would be before. And my vision's just not the same, even though it's improved so much. So it's a little rubbery. So as I started driving, after two weeks, that neuroplasticity is really working because I was picking up on things and I actually started getting better. Even better, driving even better. So I started driving by myself. And it was just getting better and better and better. And now I've been driving for over a year, a year and two months. And I was put through the test. I mean, I did the course at the rehabilitation center, but I had to jump through hoops. I had to do another cognitive test. Then they wanted me to take a test because they wanted me to see a neurologist. But anyways, I went through everything. So I went through all these tests and I would drive in for a year and two months. So don't ever give up. And I'll tell you something else is I have a problem that I can't see half a letters, half a numbers. That's what I see. So I can't read things for years and years and years could read things, everything was a struggle, right? Now I can see, now after all the stuff I've done to make myself better, I can see the whole face except for the nose. I can see a hair on someone's eyebrow. I can see a pimple on someone's face. I can see a piece of dirt on the ground. It's really hard to understand, but I've healed so much. Now I can't see, I can't see half the letters, half the numbers, and I can't see nobody's nose. It's a lot better than it was, so, Thank you, universe. Because that's another thing I do. I thank for my healing all the time with my meditations. Um, there's a guy by the name of Dr. Joe Dispenza. I mentioned him in my last video. This guy is amazing. I keep saying stuff about him because he's great. He's going to change the world. But he puts on seminars that blind people, deaf people, people with neurological problems, four-stage cancer, and they're walking out of his seminars, doing meditation, and walking out, heal. So anything is possible. This is actually happening all over the world. So check his stuff out and never give up. I mean, look at this. Up to about six months ago, I couldn't read my signs on my wall. Very, very barely. So now I want to read a couple plaques for you. Love one another. Imagine. Laugh out loud, smile at life, be happy, dream big, believe in the power within yourself, seek the truth, respect, be kind to one another, be true to you, live and let live, believe in peace. That's, look at this, <laughs> I couldn't do that before. Here's another one, family rules. Help each other. Always tell the truth. Share. Do your best. 
Play with hugs and kisses. Listen to your parents. Laugh at yourself. Say I love you. Be thankful. Show compassion. Be happy. Dream big. Respect one another. Laugh out loud. Keep your promises. Be great. Use kind words. Hug often. So no one ever give up. Never give up. And I'll tell you something that happened in the last four months. I couldn't read my credit card, so I needed someone to help me when I had to read stuff on my credit card. For years, for years and years. And just in the last four months, I was able to do this and read my credit card and use it myself. Wow, man, it just keeps healing. So don't stop. I mean, I use Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditation every morning. I do my shake. I exercise, I dance, I hit the bags, I lift weights. I'm doing things all the time to make myself better. Walk in nature. If you can't walk, just get yourself in nature. Nature just heals you, right? Don't ever give up. This is, I want everybody that's visually impaired to know that there is possibilities that anything can happen, right? So don't ever give up. Try all the things I say. It's not one thing that healed me. It's everything all together. And I just want to say thanks to someone from the rehabilitation center, Lynn. Lynn was coming to my house and she brought someone when I was really struggling with my vision and everything. And she came to my house and she brought someone that was blind from the blind place. And he just inspired me. I think his name is Chris. And he just inspired me because he's blind, dealing with life. And I was like, why am I feeling bad about myself when there's someone way worse? But isn't that everywhere in the world? There's always someone that's doing worse. We can only control ourselves. We can't control anybody else. And there's always someone that's got it worse. Do not give up. Anything's possible. Let's all heal together!